All new at 5.30 tonight, victims targeted in a string of robberies across the Queen City, and they are speaking only with NBC Charlotte. Police arrested two suspects. You see their pictures here, Timothy Whiteside and Veronica Crawford. They, they, they arrested them yesterday. They say the two are linked to six armed robberies. Four of them happened just on Tuesday. Tonight, one of the victims has a warning for anybody walking around uptown at night. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lundberg is at CMPD headquarters with the rest of this story. Rachel, this is very concerning. The first victim attacked on Tuesday night said she was just walking from uptown to South End like so many people do every single day to get to and from work. This evening, she was on her phone with her headphones in, so she didn't notice that she was being targeted. I remember there being kind of like a sketchy, like homeless looking man. Following her as she was walking home from work, the 25 year old victim asked we don't show her face. All of a sudden, I kind of look up and he's like up in my personal space, like in my face, like has his arms out. Immediately, I was just was like, ah, and then quickly darted around him. I hear a car coming in fast. She was being followed down South Tryon. Police say by Timothy Whiteside and Veronica Crawford. The vehicle then cut her off at the corner of Palmer and College Street. The man out of the passenger side has this big, very shiny silver gun just pointed at my abdomen. Staring down the barrel of a gun. And then just bolted. This attempted armed robbery was the first of four attacks Tuesday night between 645 and 1030. The gun right to my temple. The guy is a scrawny little dude and he's telling me to get out the car, drop the keys. And Justin was the third victim targeted. He said, you think this is a bleeping joke? Smacks me in the side of the head. And the suspects fled. Hours later, CMPD was tipped off to their location. We pursued the vehicle to uh, Beatty's Ford in LaSalle. At this point in time, the suspect vehicle collided with a innocent uh, victim vehicle at the intersection. The chase ended and both suspects were in custody on Wednesday. They had no um, regard for for anything or, you know, anyone. Police said at this time there's no other indication of any other suspects involved in this string of robberies. I'm Rachel Lundberg reporting outside CMPD headquarters, NBC Charlotte. Yeah, thanks.